Here at Measure Square, we take customer service seriously. We incorporate your feedback and recommendations into our product so it's a best-in-class stone and tile estimating software. Check out some of our partners like Dell Tile, Regent Cabinets, Starnet, Right Rug, Fuse Alliance, Spectrum Quartz, and Tanza Granite and Marble. With the Measure Square difference, you'll get cutting edge features based off of real world customer feedback, efficient workflows that help you get out more bids per estimator, and customer service that works as hard as you do. All right, so hi there, my name is Ryan. I'll be uh, giving your uh, Measure Squared Stone demo today. Real quick, I hope you guys don't mind if I ask you guys a few questions before we get started. Um, so how did you guys hear about Measure Squared Stone? Um, yeah, I heard about you from, I have a buddy of mine, Wayne, who does some uh, work with Caesar Stone. And he said, you guys have a, a new stone product out. And he said, I might, uh, I might check it out and see if it's a good fit. Awesome. It's always good to get some recommendations from other customers. Uh, so do you guys have any experience using any uh, estimation software for stone takeoffs? Um, I use uh, uh, PlanSwift, uh, and also I use uh, Uncenter before uh, for the takeoff. Uh, but of course, they are, they are not designed for the stone. Right. Yeah, exactly. We use like some GC software and we end up having to do a lot of stuff in Excel. So that's kind of why we're checking you out. Wayne said you guys have, uh, you know, some software that might make it easier. Gotcha. And were you finding that there's any hurdles in, with those GC software specifically that made it kind of painful to use them for, uh, for any stone estimation? Um, yeah, I think my uh, colleague Steven put it pretty well. Uh, it's just it's not optimized for stone, mm -hmm. so we can we can work around. It's just uh, you know there's there just takes a little more time probably. Awesome. So I can also kind of take it from the top too. If you guys wanted to see the step by step process of how to draw out the product, or are you kind of uh, are you kind of happy with what you see seen so far to kind of get us on get you guys on a free trial? Uh, um, sure. We want to see how how you do the takeoff and. Uh... Normally we get a set of the PDF plans from our contractor or builders. Uh, they want us to estimate by, by different settings, by face, by units, or by product types. So, mm -hmm. so we'll see how you, how you did the magic. Yeah, yeah. So I'd um, love to see the process too, if you've got some time. Yeah, let's go ahead and start from the beginning there, and then I can go ahead and when we work into our worksheet, I might open up another project that's already been created just to kind of skip a few steps ahead, so that way you're not watching me uh, all day draw some, drawing out countertops and things like that. So let's just start from the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. So now we have a blank screen. I'm going to go ahead and do our import here. On the very top left, we have an import button where you can import in any PDF, CAD, or image file. I'm going to go ahead and import just this sample apartment complex. You can set your details here and if you have multiple files you can pick and choose between them. I'm just going to use the single one for now and it will load us up into our scaling window where we can go ahead and set our scale really nice and easy here. So it's good to note that and when I zoom in here we can go ahead and start drawing out our countertops. So to draw our countertops, all I gotta do is go to our draw section here where we actually have a nice little drop down. We can actually manually input the sizing here if we want to, or we can go ahead and do our free draw and actually draw out the shapes. And to draw it out, if I wanna just draw a rectangular shape, I can go ahead and left click, hold the mouse button down and drag it to shape. Once I line it up, I can go ahead and let go of my left mouse button. Just like that, I've created my countertop. And it's really easy to just draw all your countertops as well as add your splashes here. If I go ahead and left click on that, it'll snap to the wall. So yeah, and uh, once you've drawn out your product, it's simple to go ahead and go to your product database here. Uh, once you've created your product, you can just go ahead, left click, drag it over and add it into your countertop and your splashes here. So it's really easy to go ahead and add items into your countertop, but even easier, we have a really cool auto assign tool where if I go ahead and make sure our auto assign product is checked off, I can actually select a product from the list here. And when I have it selected at the top under estimate here, while I'm drawing out my countertops, it'll actually automatically add that product while I'm drawing. Saving oh, me a lot nice. of time there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and even cooler, it actually adds that product also to the splashes. So if I go ahead and add my splashes to nice. the counter here. 
that'll save us a ton of work, Stephen. We don't have to click all those little pieces to get the spot. <laughs> right. right. I like that a lot. Yeah. That looks, it's that great. Looks it's right. definitely makes things a lot easier. I'm glad to hear it, guys. Right. So we can oh, go ahead and adjust our sizing here pretty simply by clicking on that item and dragging it to size. Yeah. And once we're oh, good okay. here, another cool feature for us to uh, look into here is adding our finishes, you know, like our labor products and any other items we might want to add on. So rather than just drag and drop each individual one, we actually have a cool option here where we can go ahead and right click on the product, okay. select rooms applied, and it'll actually select all of the room all the items in all the rooms with that product okay. and when i go ahead going to my labor products i can actually add this flat polish to all the items at once oh well, that's cool that's cool nice i like yeah. that a lot yeah and it's going to save you tons of time here and one last thing i want to show you guys um so this might um require me to open up a file that's already pre-built out so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and not have this guy open, open a file that's already done to show okay. you guys our tagging system. So okay. to kind of show you how it works, if I go into my worksheet, this is where you can get the results of your estimations here. And okay. you can see we actually have tags already built out here. Unit is just the uh, apartment unit. So that's the number of the apartment and the products are just the location. So if it's a kitchen top, it's labeled a kitchen top. If it's a bathroom, it's labeled a vanity. Okay. And it's really easy to utilize our um, worksheet here to collapse all these items, giving you a nice, really short and sweet summary of just the total square footage cost amount. And the really cool thing about our um, little worksheet here is if I go ahead and expand this, you can actually move the tags around and okay. change the uh, ordering of it. So if I go ahead and move the product, just dragging it over next to unit, you can actually see here now, the kitchen wow. tops, when I go ahead and collapse all these items, yeah. now it goes nice. by the product. It's not going by the unit type. It's gonna, yeah. it, so you have real customizability here with your uh, quotes. Yeah, That's the really customers flexible. love that. That's awesome. You know, if we can tell them, hey, here's the total for all the kitchens versus the baths, Stephen, that'll right. save the shop guys a ton of time. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was always struggling with Excel on how you, how we manipulate those tag and, uh, uh, seems to be this is really easy. Yeah, I think we can get everyone on board with this. Looks pretty good. Glad to hear. And we also have a ability to export this. If I go ahead and click this drop down, you can export it okay. into Excel with a nice little summary there. If I go ahead and click on this little icon, okay. it'll save our proposal here. Okay. Summary all the way at the bottom for you in okay. Excel. Wow. That looks great. Just here as right. well mm -hmm. and with that um that kind of is the highlight reels of all the uh, main features of the stone cut did you guys have any questions this is did this help clarify kind of what the tagging system was as well as the drawing tools and things like that so i just have uh one question so when i'm looking at the spreadsheet here yeah. so when you got the the shop drawing that you showed us at the beginning that was mm -hmm. from this view correct yeah, so actually, and let me go ahead and kind of go through the full process here. I'm going to go ahead and if you go back to your export Excel dropdown, you can actually export a stone cut template. And you'll have to export the stone cut template in order to import it into our stone portal. That's oh, the okay. uh, only so thing can there. You, yeah. Can you just walk me through that real quick? Because I think if you show me that, we probably have everything we need to get started with the trial, don't you think, Stephen? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead on that drop down. You'll just make sure you're clicking on the stone cut template. We can go ahead and name it here, hit save. And now you have it on your computer. I'm going to go ahead now going to the stone cut section of our program. If I go ahead and go to projects, we can create a new project by hitting this little plus icon here on the top. Uh -huh. We can go ahead and add our project name. We can just call this, uh, we'll just call this James's apartment. Okay. How about that? And then you can enter in your unit of measurements, your saw width, well, if, which will affect the uh, spaces in between the cuts. You have your first cut direction and the cut level, where we actually have a cut level of between two and six, two being the least aggressive and six being the most aggressively cut uh, for your slab nesting. 
Okay, we definitely want the most aggressive so we can save some money, right, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> so you want six every time. So you go ahead and hit OK. We're going to go ahead and import that Excel file now. Let me go ahead and find it. We're going to choose the correct one here. Give it a second to load in, and there you go. You'll have your materials as well as all the cuts, which will be labeled as product here. And then when you're ready to go, go ahead and hit Start Cut. And this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a, once it's done, it's going to show you that nice, there we go, that nice uh, visual wow. layout for your cuts. That looks okay. great. Okay. So it's all, all the in, in two different products are also uh, listed over. Okay. Yes, sir. Wow. Then, then, I, um, then, then I don't have to guesstimate the number of the slams for a bigger project before we even sell the project, right? So. Um, yeah. So we can bid more aggressively uh, and, and wing the project more likely than yeah. our, our competitor. Yeah, yeah. Yep. and it looks like uh, on those drawings there, uh, for most of those slabs, Stephen, I'm seeing like uh, the fill yeah. ratios between like 93 and 95 percent. Yeah. So that's pretty uh, that's pretty great. I think you know with that type of output, we should be able to make quite a bit of extra money on these jobs. Sure. Uh, so Ryan, can you try on less aggressive uh, yield rates and see what happens if we're uh, kind of narrowed down a little bit? Sure thing. Let me go ahead and we can go ahead and go to that same project and edit it. Yeah. Go to your cut level. Let's go ahead and go to, how about four? Okay, and also for this, the saw widths, can we make say, hey, uh, maybe, maybe one or two inch apart and see what happens? Of course. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. See what see what happens here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Give it a second oh, wow. to think. Let's go ahead and start our cut now. Okay. And there we go. Oh, okay. You have your your really uh, spaced out cuts there. Ah, okay. So that looks more reasonable, right, James? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I am. I don't know. We've been talking about getting one of those uh, the computer controlled saws. I think. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Maybe next year when the money is there. Uh, this looks more like what we could accomplish right now. But yeah. even just having those drawings for the shop, right. um, I know you and I both complain about how long the Excel takes. Right. Just the thing with getting the kitchen quantities versus the bathroom right. ones, that right. looks like it's still going to be pretty cool to me. But yeah, uh, yeah, we can always work on a project by project basis mm -hmm. for the the cut sheets here. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Glad to hear it. That's yeah. Perfect. So you have, and you have full customizability on these cut sheets. So it's really nice to be able to kind of get those settings exactly how you need it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks good. Okay. Yeah. So now, so now the big question: What is this going to cost us if we sign up? How does it work? So yeah, right now it's going to be a $199 a month. Okay. I just want to make sure: Is this something that you definitely would feel like you'd be comfortable trying out? And that's kind of our yeah. first step, anyway, right? Definitely. Yeah, I already I mean, have my wallet open up. <laughs> Even just like anything to get me out of Excel, he's like, pay for this. Right away. Okay. So, uh, my one question there, I know Steven's eager to get the wallet out and I'm excited too, but mm -hmm. uh, is that the cost for the office or is that like per computer? How does that side of it work? Yeah, so it's going to be a subscription-based software and it'll be per user. Uh, basically, you can use the software on different devices, but with uh, each license, you can only use, only one person can be logged into that license at a time. Okay, so I could work on it at my home office versus the, the main office we've got, as long as it's not at the same time? Exactly. Exactly okay. right. I like that. And I'm assuming you guys have like a support team, or is there people we can call or email if we have any questions while we're trying this out? Yeah, no, definitely a great question. So after this uh, short little demo, I'll go ahead and email you guys. We have, you'll have full access to our support team. I'll give you their contact information. It's just going to be support at measuresquared.com. You can call us in as well during your free trial. You also get two free training sessions with purchase. So you can definitely uh, follow up with us for a, a refresher course if you need it. You can always reach out to me directly and I'll be more than happy to set you up with that free trial. Sounds good. Excellent. Thanks for your time, Ryan. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. All Thank right. you guys so much. Bottom line is Measure Square estimating software lowers your costs, automates processes, gives you higher accuracy rates, helps improve sales, lower mishaps, and industry-leading implementation time.
Thanks for watching and sign up for your free trial today.